What's going on guys? It is Dez. I am back with another map objective. from the new map pack. And Security. this map pack by far is my favorite that Call of Duty Black Ops has come out with so far. I mean, we had the Beast game on drive-in and I just got sniped across the map, which I'll talk to you about in just a minute. But we also have Hazard. We have Silo, which is a big piece of shit map. And we have uh, Hangar 18. And so let's get into Hazard. Hazard is literally, I think, Treyarch designed this map so that snipers played how they were supposed to be played according to whomever decides what supposed to be is called. So anybody that complained about people running and gunning with a sniper rifle, this map was made just for the people that run and gun with a sniper to complain about. Because as you can see what I'm doing right here, this is what the majority of people do on this map. And so it makes it really hard to uh, run back and forth throughout the map. And the B flag is really ridiculous to cap. Just like, I mean, just like uh, drive-in. The B flag on drive-in is ridiculous at times. I mean, they have that little sign there that's some coverage. But other than that, they did. They made these B flags pretty, pretty tough to get. And they could have extended the wall some or did something to the point where, or like raised the hill up so you couldn't snipe across the map at the people but basically what you're seeing is you're seeing people just uh picking people off and sitting in the way back like you're seeing right now and i mean it literally i'm not gonna i'm at eight right now so i'm not gonna go up to uh get killed if i these people are just gonna keep feeding me kills as i run as i uh sit here so that's basically what you're seeing and that's literally what you do on the other side of this map if you're on the sea is that you sit there and you just wait for people to run up to B and you just kill them like straight up and uh i don't know it's, it's literally like look there you go there's dogs and then i die but that was dogs with no effort so just imagine the amount of snipers that end up on this map it's, out, it's a little bit ridiculous you know i mean the very first thing that i do as soon as i respawn is look downwind and see if there's any snipers or anything that i can pick off right away and then i go right back up to this little area because they they funnel down this little area right here so and then i let my dogs go to work but <laughs> other than that guys i am really really enjoying this new map pack and and like i said if you guys think that this is the best map pack that has come out from treyarch so far as far as black ops goes not world at war but black ops treyarch you let me know and uh i also want to know how many of my subscribers or anybody that watches my stuff is going to be going to the call of duty xp i saw i was watching the twitter feed and as soon as uh um they announced that you could buy tickets immediately the site froze and like they were sold out within an hour i mean something that big and something open to the public like that you should have realized that they were going to sell out with the quickness i mean anybody that follows world of warcraft should un should know that because of the simple fact that blizzcon the event that that goes down in uh different areas around the uh, united states actually i think it might only be in anaheim i'm not for sure on that but the blizzcon that goes down that those tickets are sold out within minutes of going live and then you see a lot of them flood to ebay and that kind of thing but nobody really wants to pay five or six thousand dollars just to show up at some uh event but call of duty xp actually does look really awesome and i am really really glad that the um the executives of Activision or who, whomever thought of the, the Call of Duty XP decided to let the public, general public, go ahead and purchase tickets if they had that uh, choice. So I think they went on sale for like 150 bucks, and you got a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, if you go to the website, there's a bunch of interactive maps and some of the things they classified. So the reason why I want to know is because I want you guys to give me feedback on what's going down when you guys get there. I mean, you guys are going to see a lot of famous heads there. I mean, 402 is going to be there. A bunch of the Optic crew is going to be there. Um, you know, the, the big YouTubers, I'm sure, are going to be showing up there. So anybody that's just a normal uh, run-of-the-mill YouTuber that's uh, not way up there like me. I'm not even halfway up there. But uh, 
you guys can go there and enjoy that get some uh, exposure to all the the bigger names and 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 really just enjoy yourself so if you guys do that let me know down in the uh comments below also i want to know who of my subscribers has google plus and uh because if you do i want you to add me on uh i want you to add me on google plus the, the email address will be in the description but the email is the zero at gmail.com that's what you can do to add me to google plus i will add you to uh a group called uh youtube subscribers or what a group that i have uh create that i create for this and then i'll keep you guys directly updated with uh, things that I'm going to do like maybe open lobbies or certainly things like that and and just remember guys I am going to do an open lobby on both Xbox and PS3 as soon as I hit 3,000 subscribers so tell tell anybody that you can about me and if you guys are enjoying my stuff enjoying my content make sure to spread it out because it all is word of mouth from you guys to get me bigger and uh, I'm trying to do this uh, the old, not sort of the old-fashioned way, but the most respectful way as far as I see, and that's by having my fans that watch me and watch what I do go and boast my stuff to other people, and then that's how I get my exposure. I'm not going to run of the mill, go up and uh, ask for shout-outs and all that other kind of stuff and, and retweets and all that other kind of stuff. That's up to you guys to, to really enjoy my content and uh, really enjoy the hard work that I put into each um, gameplay that I get for you guys and know that it is going to be most of the time all sniper content because I know that's exactly what you like to see and that's exactly how I like to play so if you really enjoy sniper gameplay content if you really enjoy high scores double dogs right here and I don't give a shit what people say about high kill streaks that's what they're in the game for I'm not going to use a helicopter or a chopper gunner but I am going to use all the puppies that I want to and they're going to go around and murder for me I mean wait till you see this last the end of this score guys I mean the the team on the other end, I think the highest person got like 17 kills, and and I'm way ahead of anybody on my team as far as uh, kills go on my end. So it's just it was all around a really really good game. They didn't even break a hundred in this. So I mean, Tag Dogs did some work. I did some work. Got the sniper rifle kicking. This is the PSG one, which I don't normally snipe with, but I like it. It is definitely, definitely up to par with the L96, if not better. You know, I mean, sometimes this gun, like I can resort to it because I just get annoyed with the way the L96 is sometimes. Just like the, uh, the cocking mechanism of the L96 really bothers the hell out of me. And I have a gameplay coming out where I'm going to point out exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know if this has ever happened to you guys, but hopefully it's not just me that this has happened to I'll go to shoot someone and my gun will want to recock and it's definitely just because I ran before it recocked and then it has to do it before I'm we able to shoot but that end up that ends up really really hindering charge. the performance of your uh, gun when you have to do that and I know that that was a uh, a little fix that Treyarch put in to get rid of the whole YY thing but it was one of those things where you should have left it alone I mean you can still YY to get rid of the weapon animation and by that I mean whenever you pick up a weapon you can just hit YY and it will discard the uh, the cocking of the of the weapon and that will allow you to uh, be faster on the switches if you're picking something up and that's just like a helpful hint there and I hope that you guys uh, knew that but if you didn't know that now you learned something so this game is going to be wrapping up here in about a little under 40 seconds so let's do a recap on everything I want you guys to do I want you to tell me if you're going to Call of Duty XP I want you to tell me if this is the best map pack that you've had for Black Ops or if not which one is the best map pack that you've seen so far or if there's a specific map that you just like over any other ones let me know about that too I wish I would have got the final kill here but theater mode doesn't record it anyway so this has been Dez I am out that's 201 to 96 this final score is 44 and 5 I do believe yep 44 and 5 and that's gonna be it take it easy bye